Hello YouTube, it is Everything You Pan here, and in this video we are doing a video tutorial on how to 86 box. Now this is the uh, second video, if you want to call it, in the trilogy, if you watch the Windows, uh, or not Windows, but MS-DOS 6.22 video uh, that I had done here previously, um, that this would be kind of a trilogy here that I'm doing because it requires, um, this does require MS-DOS to be installed. Um, prior to actually getting the Windows uh, 3.1 installation started or taken care of there. Um, and then this can lead to other uh, operating system install opportunities here down the line. So um, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and just get right into the video here. Um, all the links will be in the description that will be provided here for the uh, tutorial here. So if you do not have PCM or 86 box, you can download the emulators at one of these links here. Um, I have the PCM link here to download. Uh, PCM and then you will need the ROMs um, which you can you know find different ones online since uh, there are some different ones there same with 86 box here you can download the 86 box uh, program here but also we'll need some additional uh, ROMs or files there for that um, which those also vary so you can locate those as you wish um, what will also be included in the description I will include the link for the uh, MS-DOS 6.22 um, floppy disks, as well as the CD-ROM driver that it includes. Um, if you already know, you know how to do a MS-DOS 6.22 install, um, and you don't have the files, then you can just take those and you know do the installation. If you do not know um, or would like to watch my tutorial on how to install MS-DOS uh, 6.22 in PCM or 86 box, I will have a link for that in the top of the description. Um, that'll be the first link uh, before actually providing the kind of download links or file links there uh, is it will be a link to my video tutorial on installing MS-DOS 6.22 in PCM or 86 box. Um, but you can download the files here. You can, uh, they are one by one. Um, so it's got the three disks and the CD-ROM. And then there will also be the link that I have provided from, uh, this will be a mega link here uh, for the Windows 3.1 ISO. Um, I'll also put WinRAR in the description. Um, I probably will end up switching this up so it's a zip file or it's just the ISO by itself. So it may be switched in the description from what this is now. It may just say uh, Windows 3.1 ISO instead of it being in a RAR file. So uh, if that changes, you'll see that in the description there. But regardless, that'll be provided there for you. Um, once you have everything downloaded there, um, we'll want to go ahead and uh, open up your choice of 86 box or PCM. Um, I will be using 86 box uh, for this tutorial. Um, and what we want to do is we'll go ahead and add a machine here. And I'm just going to call this Windows 3.1. And we're going to check to go ahead and just configure this machine now. We'll go ahead and hit add and it will go ahead and create your machine. And then it should load up your settings and configuration here. Um, and so here I will tell you the settings that I do for my machine and CPU and those kinds of things. You can experiment around if you want to try some different settings and see if maybe some work better for you. But this is what I've had the most luck with with this. Um, and not that this matters for this, but this matters more for betas. Um, normally I just do it anyways to disable time synchronization. Um, you can keep it on if you want, if you're just doing kind of like a normal install like this and not a beta like Windows Chicago or Memphis or something like that. Uh, but the machine type that I use is a uh, socket seven dual voltage. And then the machine itself is going to be the, um, the Epochs P55 VA. And then for CPU type, I do Intel Pentium MMX uh, and then for speed 233. For memory, I max it out. Uh, the highest to go for the, with this CPU is 128 megabytes. Um, so that's what I use for this uh, configuration here. And then for display, uh, if we go next on the left side, um, for this, uh, I scroll down and use uh, ATI uh, Machine 64GX. I don't know if it's actually machine, but I use this ATI 64GX uh, video card here. And then make sure to check Voodoo Graphics. Um, and then for input devices, you can select any one of these. I usually just do standard PS2 mouse. Um, you can do any one of these. Any of them should work. And then for sound, um, I know that I did this previously in the MS-DOS video where I did Sound Blaster 16. For the older operating systems, actually, for it to work, 
Um, you'll want to do Sound Blaster V1.5. Um, I have found that to work here to get audio for Windows 3.1 and even some of the betas like Chicago. Um, I've had luck with that. But for like Windows 95 or Memphis or 98, those kinds of things, you can, you're can you safe to do Sound Blaster 16. But for the older ones, we'll do Sound Blaster V1.5. Um, network, it really doesn't matter. Um, not that you're going to have network access anyways, but here's what I have um, if you want to add it. Ports we leave alone. Storage controllers uh, for the HD controller here. Um, I scroll all the way down and do IDE controller. And then on the hard disk, well, this is where we'll need to create the hard disk. Uh, so we'll just do that by hitting new, and then we can type a file name for it. So I'll just call it Windows 3.1. And for the size, I'm just going to make it a gigabyte. Um, space there it's gonna be off by a meg there but not that big of a deal um and then everything should remain the same ide zero zero channel all this um and go ahead and hit okay and it will create your hard drive um and it's gonna ask you just to remember to partition it uh, but go ahead and just hit okay on that and then for the floppy and cd-rom drives here um don't need two of them obviously so you can take that one out and then for this i just do 3.5 inch um 1.44 m uh floppy disk here and for cd-rom drives i just do atapi and then i don't think the write speed really matters or the speeds in general don't really matter i just do 24x because that's one of the common ones for the disks um and then that's it uh nothing to do on other removable devices or other peripherals so we can go ahead and hit ok to save our changes here and then we should be good to go ahead and start the machine and it'll pop up with a window here um if you want to do the resizable version of this you can do uh, view and then resizable window um, and then on first boot up for this it's going to give you the checksum error here which is fine um, this gives us the opportunity to insert the ms-dos uh, floppies and get that installed so i'm actually going to skip over that i'm going to do that ms-dos install here real quick um, and then once that's done i'll pop back in and then show you guys um, how to go ahead and get windows 3.1 installed so again uh, link for the videos in the description for ms-dos 6.22 installation in pcm or 86 box um, if you do need it um, but I'll go ahead and get that installed and I'll be back with you guys once that is finished okay so I have MS-DOS uh, 6.22 installed here I also did make sure to get that CD-ROM driver installed as well since we will need that to be able to run uh, the setup from the ISO here so um, once you have MS-DOS installed you want to make sure um, the floppy disk should be empty from the install but we'll go to CD-ROM and then hit image and then you'll want to locate where your Windows 3.1 ISO is saved and get that inserted. And once that's inserted, we can go into the machine or click into that. And we can go ahead and type in D colon. That should be what your drive letter is set to. Um, it'll tell you here if it's different for any reason, but it should be drive D. And then all you'll need to do is just type setup. And then it should give you the welcome to setup screen. So we just go ahead and hit enter. And then we'll do uh, enter to do the express setup. It's going to go ahead and uh, copy the files over and give us up into the graphical part. Um, so for name, just type in whatever you want. Um, and then hit continue. Hit continue again. And it's going to go ahead and copy all the files over um, for the install here. Um, and once that's done, it's going to do a printer uh, installation here. We can just cancel out of that. Um, go ahead and just hit OK to use MS-DOS editor for the edit. And then um, you can skip the tutorial or run it, whichever you wish. Um, and it'll give you a message here that it'll say it is now set up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and eject that CD-ROM by going up to media and doing eject. Remember, if you have the mouse, most of them, the way that you can release it from the machine is by hitting F8 and F12 combined or pressing down on your middle mouse. Uh, but we'll want to hit reboot. And it'll go ahead and reboot the machine here. And then it will boot us back into MS-DOS. And then, of course, to go ahead and run Windows 3.1 here, um, what you'll need to make sure to do is it should direct you to your C drive automatically. Just type Win. It'll give you the little Windows 3.1 splash there. And here we are. We are in the Windows 3.1 operating system here. Um, and... Uh, so we are all uh, in here and um, you can verify that by going here into the program manager and there you can see Microsoft Windows Program Manager version 3.1. So 
we have that successfully installed there now. Um, now to get sound working, um, what you'll want to do is uh, for this, we need to go into control panel and then go to drivers and then um, want to go ahead and go down to the bottom sound uh, driver here and hit add and then go ahead and hit creative lab sound blaster uh, 1.5 and hit OK. Um, and I guess you do need to make sure you leave the CD-ROM in for that. I apologize. So you can actually, if since it was the last one put in, you can just go and reload it in your uh, CD-ROM here. Um, then if you hit OK, it should prompt it to install. So just remember, uh, if you did go ahead and eject it, then when you want to install the sound, just make sure the ISO is inserted so it'll pick up the files there that it needs. Um, for the port, do 220. And then for interrupt, do 7 and hit OK. And then it will say that the driver has been added for the new driver to take effect. You must quit and restart Windows. So we'll hit restart now. And I think the shutdown sound should play. Or it logged us back in. It actually just did a quick reboot. So um, so you did go ahead and hear the startup sound. Now, uh, if you want to exit MS-DOS or Windows 3.1, um, go ahead and hit close. And if you hit OK, it will play the shutdown sound. So. Kind of cool to have those in there uh, as a little bit of an add-on for uh, getting this installed. So again, just go back in and type win and it'll bring you back into Windows 3.1. So uh, that is all there is to it. That is how to install Windows 3.1 and PCM or 86 box. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful at all, you can certainly leave a like down below. Um, if you have any ideas or anything you'd like to leave down in the comments, you certainly can comment down below as well um, with anything. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, um, you can do that by hitting the subscribe button down below and also can hit the post notification bell if you haven't done so to be notified whenever I upload a video um, and be up to date on the uploads. Um, so again, that's all uh, there is to it here with the install. Uh, installation here of Windows 3.1 and PCM or 86 box. Uh, thank you guys again so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.